Okay, so like I was saying, so we're going to learn how to create a list, how to create lists. We're going to learn how to access values from a list. This might be a single value you want to access from a list, or it might be multiple values you want to access from a list. We are also going to see how to modify or change values which are in a list during the course of this, this notebook. Then we're going to see how to add values to a list. Then we're going to see how to remove values from a list. Then we're also going to see how to organize the list. There are a couple of ways of organizing a list. You can sort it or you can reverse the order of a list. Then we're going to see how to extend a list, how to increase a list, how to make it longer. The other thing we're going to see is we're going to see how to uh, find the length of a list. Then you're going to see how to check membership to a list. You, if an item is a member of a list, how do you find out if an item belongs to a list, which you have? That's what you're going to do. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to see how do you copy a list. And lastly, how do you delete a list? Okay. So what is a list? Basically, a list is a collection of items in a particular order any items it might be numbers a collection of numbers or it might be a collection of uh, strings names of items or it might be a collection of uh, true or false values that is a list okay a list is a collection of items just like a normal thing list in python we tell python we want to create a list using two square brackets is that clear yes we tell python we want to create a list of items using these two square brackets there is the buttons on your keyboard this which look like that two square brackets okay then the items in that particular list have to be separated from each other using commas. That's all. You have to tell Python you are creating a list. How do you do that? You use two square brackets. Then the items in the list, items in the list, you have to separate the items in the list from each other using commas. Is this clear? Yes. A list is a collection of items in a particular order. You have to tell Python you want to create a list by using two square brackets. And the items in the list, you have to separate them from each other using commas. Once you create a list, the good part is you can actually store the list you have created. You can store it in a variable. So it doesn't really matter how long or how large your list is. Because if you've got a very large list, then you have to keep on typing it over and over and over. Eventually it becomes very difficult to handle. So Python actually allows you, once you create a list, it allows you to store your list in a variable. Is that clear? The same way we have been storing, we stored, we, we stored the value pi uh radius in a variable once you create your list you can actually store it in a variable then you start referring to the list using the name of that variable so the first task really we are going to do is we're going to create an empty list which is a list which does not contain any items for you to create an empty list you just type two square brackets when you type two square brackets then you run that that's what you get. That's a list, except it is an empty list. Sometimes it will be very important that you create an empty list. If you get this thing you've timed, these two square brackets, you give them to the type function, those two square brackets, you want to find out what are these things. So if you want to find out something in Python, what it is, you have to give it to this guy, the type function. When you run this, the type function tells you that this is a list. Is that clear? 
Yes. So, two square brackets in Python denote a feature called a list. You can have, you can create a list with one value like that. That one value, the 10, has to be enclosed in two square brackets like that. If you run that, that's what you get. If you get this uh, this thing you've done, you've created number 10 in two square brackets. If you give it to the type function, this thing, then you run it. You're asking the type function, what is it? It tells you this is a list. So basically the first one we created, this one here, this is an empty list, a list with no items. The second one we created here is a list with one item. You are not restricted to creating only a list, empty lists or lists with one items. You can create a list with multiple items. Like in this case, this list has got an item, values 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Each of these values are separated from the other using commas. Can you see the commas? Yes. You, you can see the commas? Yes. That's how you separate items in a list from each other. If you run this, that's what you get. Python doesn't complain. If you get this thing here, we give it to the type function, we give it to the function type, then we run it. The function type tells us that this is also a list. Is this clear? Yes. So as long as Python sees two matching square brackets, then it knows that that's a list. It doesn't matter whether those matching square brackets have got a value in them or they don't have a value. If they don't have a value, then it considers that to be an empty list. Okay? Is that clear? Now, yes. if we look at these values, this list you have created, this list of uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, you can see that these numbers are even numbers. Can you see that? Yes. Rachel, can you see that those are yes. even numbers? So yes, basically, yeah. what we have here is a list of even numbers. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. So if we have a list of even numbers, very soon it will become tedious for us to keep on retyping the whole list. So. Yeah we can decide to store this list in a variable called even numbers this is where things become nice the fact that you have a list which contains multiple information you can store that list in a variable and we call we, we, we create a variable called even numbers and we store this list of even numbers in this variable like that. Python doesn't complain. Then we print out this variable even numbers. When you print even numbers, that's what we get. Can you see that? Uh. We are accessing this list of even numbers by just printing the variable even numbers this is very very powerful this is very this is very very powerful it means that it doesn't matter how many items you have in your list as long as you create your list once then you store your lists in a variable it means that you have got access to all those values in a list, regardless of how many they are, through this variable even numbers. Is this clear? Yes. If you get the variable even numbers, you give this variable even numbers as input to the type function even numbers. Then you want to find out what kind of data does 
this variable even numbers have the type function tells you this is a list okay the fact that you created a list then you decided to store this list in a variable does not change the type of information which is in that variable it still remains a list is that clear yes you are not restricted like right now even numbers only has this list even numbers it has got numbers items which are related to each other right these items as we can see zero two four six eight ten there is a relationship between these items they are divisible by two is that clear yes however when it comes to a lists you are not restricted to storing information which is related or which is of the same type like in this case these are also integers we stored integers in this list Python does not restrict what you can store in a list. Okay? For example, here, we create a list. This is a list. We create a list. Then this list has got, it has got a string, sun. It has got another string, earth. It has got a number, 3.14159, which is the number for pi. It has got another item, moon. It has got a value, true. It has got an integer, 100. These items in this list, they are not related in any way to each other. Can you see that? Yes. Some of them are strings. The other one is a float. The other one is a boolean. The other one is an integer. So I decide, check fine. Uh, I've created this list. I'm going to store this list in a variable called mixed stuff. Then I run it. I carry out this storage. Then I print out mixed stuff here. Print mixed stuff. Python prints it out without any complaints. The point here is you are not restricted when it comes to lists. You are not restricted to storing one type of information or related information in a list. No, no, it doesn't matter. You can store whatever you want in a list. However many they are, you can store them in a list. Okay? If you get this mixed stuff, then we give it to the type function. We find out the fact that you have stored different pieces of information we don't seem to be related does that affect what we have what we have no the type function still tells us that what we have is a list is this clear yes so you can see an advantage here a list allows you to store multiple values in one item okay those multiple values don't have to be re related in any way or form okay here there's another way you can create a list here i'm trying to show you that you can create a list from variables if you already have information which is stored in variables you can use those variables to actually create a list okay for example here i have got these variables a lot of them okay there is variable a which is going to hold the value one variable b which is going to hold the value three variable c is going to hold the value five variable d is going to hold the value 7 variable e is going to hold the value 9 variable f is going to hold the value 11. i run that python doesn't complain so it has stored the value 1 in a the value 3 in b the value 5 in c the value uh, 
seven in D, uh, nine in E, and F eleven. Okay, I use these variables A, B, C, D, E, F because these variables have what values. I use these variables to create a list. This list. I open a square bracket, I close the square brackets inside this list. Instead of actual values, I put in the names of variables A, B, C, D, E, F. As you can see, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. These are odd numbers. So I create a list called odd numbers. Okay? I create a list called odd numbers. There. Then I print the list odd numbers. That's what I get. Can you see that? Yeah, you can create a list using a list of using variables. So there is so many ways you can do this thing. Apart from, so far, what we have created, there is a list of uh, even numbers. There is this mixed list. There is a list of um, old numbers like this. You can also create a list of strings. For example, I want to create a list of insects. This. These are strings. Ant, bee, butterfly, centipede, cockroach, cricket, dragonfly, fly, grasshopper, ladybird, mosquito, scorpion, tick, wasp. These are items in this list, and each of these items is separated from the other using a comma. There is a relationship here in these things, because all these items are actually insects. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so I create a list called insects. Everything is a string, and apart from being a string, they are all related, they are insects in one way or another, like that. Then I print it. There, this is what I get when I print insects. Ant, bee, butterfly, centipede, cockroach, cricket, dragonfly, uh, fly, grasshopper, ladybird, all the way up to mosquito, scorpion, tick, and wasp. That is a list I've created. So I've created a list of insects. Okay? We are trying to see how to create lists. I've created a list of insects. The next item I create, uh, next list I create is a list. As there's a square here, there's there, which contains a lion, a kangaroo, giraffe, hippo, camel, elephant, panda, rabbit, dog, zebra, horse, rhino, monkey, tiger, cat. These are animals. So I call the name of the list animals. I create this list of animals. Okay. I create this list of animals, then I print this thing, and I get my list. Lions, kangaroo, giraffe, hippo, camel, elephant, panda, rabbit, dog, zebra, horse, rhino, and stuff like that. I create another list of fish. Now tilapia, uh, tilapia, now page, red breast tilapia, these are types of fish. This is a list. As if it has to be a list, it has to be enclosed in square brackets. So I store that. Then I print. Okay. Now, what am I trying to do here? How much battery do I have? Okay. Not very much. But I think we'll manage for today. What do we want to do? What am I trying to do here? I have created three lists. I have created a list insects. I have created a list animals. I have created a list fish. I use these lists insects, animal, fish. I use these three lists to create another list called wildlife. Wildlife. Okay? So what I'm trying to say is, it's also possible for you to create a new list 
out of other lists. If you create a list out of other lists, this list you have created, which holds other lists, this list is what's known as a list of lists. It's a bit different, as you can see. Here, it starts out with a square, but inside this list, there is this list of uh, there is this list of insects. There is a list of insects all the way up to here right mm. that's a list of insects inside this list of lists this wildlife there is a list of insects okay then after the, li the list of insects finishes the next list you have is a list of animals animals yes you you get a list of animals kangaroo and stuff and all these guys these guys then after at the end of the day you get a list of fish okay so basically what we have there is a list of lists lists yes a list of lists that's what you have there if you check ask python this wildlife thing you've created what is it because this is a list which contains other lists right what is it if you ask python Python tells you that this is also a list. Yeah. yeah. A list of lists, a list which contains other lists, is also a list. Is that clear? Yes. Brian? Yes. Okay, so I don't have, as you can see on my screen, my battery, computer battery is very, very low. It's load shedding. So, the first thing you've done today, which is very good, is to see how you can create lists. In the meantime, if you still have battery, you can continue playing this thing. You Like here, where it's showing an arrow here. You can expand so you can see what you can continue reading. Okay, So basically, we're going to continue on Monday to see how to access items and lists and all these other things. For now, at least, we have done one thing. We have seen how to create a list. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah, so basically that's where we're going to stop today. That's all we can do because I don't have power. My computer is going to shut down anytime soon. All right, thank you. All right, so see you on Monday where we're going to continue how to access things, items from a list, how to do things and stuff like that. Just be aware that you can create a list using square brackets. Your lists can have one item. Your lists can have multiple items. Then that list can be stored in a variable. You can also create a list from variables like you have shown. If you would variables which contain values, you can use those variables to create a list. Then you can store that list in a variable. And also, most importantly, if you have got a bunch of lists, you can use those lists to create another list, which is what's known as a list of lists, as you have seen in the case of wildlife. Is that clear? Yes. So when we meet on Monday, we're going to see how to access items from these lists. Okay, so we stop here today.